Let's get started with our Seattle picture. Now remember, we want to bring in the clouds to replace the sky and we're going to bring our sailboat over. So what we'll need to do first is remove the sky from this picture or make a selection of our sky. I've already saved a selection for us, so let's click on the Select menu. And let's point to Load Selection and you should see sky next to the channel. We're going to click OK and that calls up our selection. As you can see, our selection isn't very well defined because we're losing some of the detail of our images. Some of the curves aren't curvy enough and some of the straight edges on the buildings aren't straight enough. And we've lost the top of our space needle and that crane on the right hand side. So we're going to use the refine edge. Select refine edge to improve the selection. We've opened the refine edge dialog box and let's start by changing our view. If you recall, we press the F key that'll cycle through our views and let's get to the black and white mode. Black and white will allow us to see the details of the edges of our buildings. As you can see here, the edges right now look a little blurry and some of the areas still need to be straightened up a little bit and we need some curves. So let's click on Smart Radius to check that box and let's pull the slider to the right on the radius. As we go to the right, you'll notice we start to get detail where we're seeing better edges on our buildings. Now if we go too high, I'm way out there at almost 8, you can see where we start to get some fringe. Some white and gray are popping up in our selection, which means we've gone too far in our refinement and have muddled up our selection. So let's bring that back down to around 3. Now each image is going to be different, so these settings won't work necessarily on another image and you're just going to have to play around with them. Okay, I've got mine back down to 3.2. That looks pretty good. The contrast under Adjust Edge will allow us to remove some of that fringe. Now if we go too far to the right, we're going to defeat the purpose of using our radius edge detection. So we want to be careful. As we go to the right, our goal is to remove those white spots and those gray spots, but not lose the detail that we've created with the edge detection. So I'm pulling this to the right, and I'm going to stop around 35. And let's change our view again. I want to get back to Marching Ants, so I'm pressing my F key. And this reminds me that I forgot the top of the Space Needle and I forgot that crane on the right hand side. So if you recall, when we worked on the kitten, we used the Refine Radius tool to bring back some of the fur, the detail in the fur. So let's use that tool now and use a small brush head and we can try and bring back some of that crane and some of the top of the Space Needle. Now you see it's not getting all of it, but it's getting enough of it so that when we bring in the clouds, because the clouds have so much contrast in them and it has the white as well as the blue, not just this solid background, it probably will be enough to give us the illusion that the whole part of that structure is there. Let's go ahead and press the F key, and you can see in the overlay mode, we can actually see where it brought back some of those features. And we could continue to try and play with the Refine Radius tool, to bring back more of it, but I think we might have enough here. And we can always come back later and try and improve that with other selections. Let's click OK. And we now have a selected area, which is our sky. Let's click on our Clouds tab to bring up the clouds image. And all we're going to do here is we're going to select the entire canvas, and then we're going to bring it back to the Seattle picture. So let's click on Select, and let's choose All, which is also Control-A or Command-A. And we're going to choose Edit, Copy, Control C or Command C. And we're going to go back to Seattle. And then we're going to point to Edit. And instead of choosing Paste, we want to point to Paste Special. And we're going to choose Paste Into. What that does, if you look over in your Layers panel, is it created a new layer with a mask of the sky that we selected previously. And then you'll notice there's a thumbnail for the mask next to the Clouds thumbnail on its layer. Notice also that the cloud layer is much larger than what we need to fill in the masked out area. Also, we don't have the cloud layer and the mask linked. So if we click and we drag on our clouds, we can actually change the location of the document that we're viewing. So I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to bring up some of the white clouds and leave some of the blue area too. And you can play around with this you get to a section that you like. And you'll see now our Space Needle actually looks pretty good. Again, remember we're from a distance looking at the skyline, so you wouldn't see all the detail. 
and we do see some of the crane. So I think we might have enough of those images to give us the illusion that we can actually see them. Let's go ahead and close our clouds image. We don't need that one anymore. We can click on the little X on the tab and let's leave our Seattle and sailboat image open as we continue.